Hey, Virginia Beach residents. If you recall, last week began phase two of reopening the state of Virginia. So that means fitness centers have finally been able to reopen. And what does that mean locally here for us in Virginia Beach? Well, our rec centers can soon reopen. So to get the inside scoop on what you can expect, I decided to finally step out of my home office and into a rec center. Hey, Julie. Hey, Brandon. Good to see you, how are you? Great, how are you? I'm very well and very excited because it's phase two, as you know, and we're here in a rec center and we can now soon attend the rec center, correct? Correct, we are very excited and we're putting the final touches on our procedures and protocols to welcome people back. Awesome, so under phase two, as a member, what can I expect when I first walk into the rec center? Well, the first thing people need to know is that we've extended all of the memberships to accommodate for the time that we were closed and there is no action needed on your part. The second thing is we're not gonna be selling any new memberships during this opening time because one of the guidelines as of phase two protocols is that we have to limit the number of people that are in the center at one time and we wanna give access to our members first. We're gonna have members be registering online for time slots to come in, 45 minutes for certain areas and up to an hour and a half in the gym. So one of the biggest things with COVID-19 are cleaning and safety precautions. What would that be like here in the rec center for not only visitors, but for staff as well? So we're going to be asking um, guests who come in to ask themselves a series of health screening questions just to ensure that before they come in, they're not feeling sick. If they are, they should stay home. One of the other things they can expect is that our staff are going to be wearing masks at all times. We do ask that people wear masks when they enter the center or are moving around, but not while they are exercising. That will not be required. One of the other big things is physical distancing. We need people to maintain 10 feet of distance here in the center and we'll have signage and um, other indicators around to remind people of that specific distance that they need to keep. Um, another thing is just the cleaning that's gonna be taking place. We have allowed for um, 15 minutes of cleaning after each session so that our staff can go back around and ensure that all the equipment is clean and safe for the next group who comes in. So of course with indoor establishments, there's a lot of restrictions that have been put in place in order for places to open up. What areas of the rec center will be open to visitors? Well, let's take a little walk and I'll talk more about that. Yeah, sure, absolutely. So some of the things that people can expect to be able to access when they first start coming to the centers are our weight rooms where they'll have access to circuit training equipment and cardio equipment. We'll also have available our gymnasiums for racket sports and we'll also be doing group fitness classes in that space. And that is gonna start out for our premier members only. We just wanna make sure we're giving them access to those fitness programs. Another area of the center that will be open is the swimming pools, but they're only gonna be open for lap swimming and exercise purposes to begin with. So that's all good information. And it sounds like that there's a lot for folks to be able to do when they do come to the rec center. But on the flip side of that last question, what will not be available for members? So some of the things that members will not be able to access during this initial phase two reopening are the dumbbell equipment here in the weight room. Also, the locker rooms will be closed, including the showers, but restrooms will be available. Another area that will be closed is our drop-in childcare area, so we will not have that service available to folks. And the last thing is our programming that we typically offer here, such as our Forever Young program for seniors and therapeutic recreation. It's very good to hear that you guys have a plan in place and it sounds like you're very soon ready to implement that plan. But as we do all know, information and details can change. So where can people go for up-to-date information? So the most up-to-date information can always be found on our website, vbgov.com parks. As well, make sure you have your email address on file with us and you can do that as well by signing up um, for our email newsletters to make sure you're getting all the latest updates. Thanks for that information, Julie. Thank you, Brandon. And as always, if you're looking for more up-to-date information on COVID-19, please do remember that our emergency site is still up and running and it's emergency.vbgov.com slash coronavirus. Well, another week in the books, VB. We cannot wait to see you back in our rec centers. But until then, thanks for watching. Stay safe.